Hey, welcome back, my peeps. So I shared this cute little <laughs> little charcuterie board on my Facebook page, and everyone's been asking me how I made it and what I how did I put it together and all that. Everything on here was used was made with a mold. This is for the mold. Everything was made with a mold. I didn't make anything by hand, but you can make the fingers by hand. You can make the gummy worms by hand. You could try to make these by hand. You just have to put little lines in it. And the pretzels could be done by everything can be done by hand. I'm not gonna show you how to do it by hand because I'm really not good at making pretzels. <laughs> For real. And I made fingers last year um, in my cookie, in my Halloween cookie video. And I also made gummy worms in my Halloween candy video. So I'm not going to make that. And we made this candy too, this little candy twist. And I'm, I'm not going to um, like redo that. But I'm going to share with you the molds that I used and how I put it together. So if you want to make one, you can make one too. It's really small, like, and I kept telling it fits in the palm of my hand, so it's really tiny. So this is what it looks like. If you want to take a better look at it, it's really cute. And it got some fake spiders. I got these spiders from Walmart, but I got them a while ago, so I think like last year. So I don't know if you're gonna find them this year. And it got a couple of M&M's, not too many M&M's. Annie's from Annie's Treasure sent me these M&M's. So, I'm going to show you the molds I used. I got a pretzel mold. Um, I believe Annie's Treasure sells these pretzel molds. You can, I'll post a link if she has it. And I also think she has a finger mold. So this is the mold I have. And then this mold I got from um, Michael's. It's this little white ones. Little like kisses or whatever you want to call them. And then I also got the gummy worm mold from Michael's. Okay. So... For the pretzels, I'm going to use some orange foam clay. Now look, everything that's on here, if you only have white clay, you can make it in white clay and play, uh, play it. Paint it with acrylic paint. You don't need foam clay. I just, listen, like I said, we have evolved since there's foam clay. It makes my life easier. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay. And I know everybody can't, you know, afford to buy the phone clay. But if you can, it really makes your life so much easier um, using the phone clay because you don't have to paint it. And once it's done, you know, once you use it for what it you need it for, you don't have to paint it and stuff like that. So this is how I go in the mold and I... Follow the line, like if you was making a pretzel, and I go like that, and I press it down, and then of course if there's any extra, you just squish it out of there. Now when you finish with this, you're going to have to put it in the freezer, okay? Well, let's see. It depends on the clay, because sometimes it'll just pop out with no problem, and then sometimes the clay wants to get stuck in there. And... It just depends on how wet and sticky the clay is, okay? Basically, that's it, in all honesty. It's just how sticky is the clay. Because if this clay is not that sticky, it will just pop out. Let's see how this one. See this one? Basically, it could pop out, but it's not going to pop out. So... I'm going to put this one in the freezer while we wait. Because we want to make some other ones. Some other molds. I'm show y'all how to make it. So we're going to use 
I'm gonna put this in the freezer real quick. See if it be done by the time I finish yapping. So we're gonna make a worm. Now to make a two-toned worm, you're gonna get you some of the clay. You're gonna get you another color. And you just gonna put them together. And that's how you're gonna get your worm. Okay. So you're gonna roll out your little bit of clay on one way, and you put it in your mold, and then you're gonna get your other clay, and you're gonna come from this end, and that's how you're gonna get your worm, okay? That this is how you do it. You just mix two colors together, and there you go. Let's see if it pops out. See, sometimes it just pops out. So there go your worm. Okay. And that's how you do that. You're going to put that over there. And then your clay fingers. So I got this monster green. I mixed a little bit of green with some yellow. And that's how I got this color. I call it monster green. So basically all you're going to do. It's just press it in the molds. That's it. And then after it's dry and you take it out of the mold, you're going to paint the fingernails. Okay. Let's see if this one comes up. Nope. This one got to go in the freezer. It depends on the mold too. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. The, the finger, the finger came out. And without me trying, if I were to try to take it out, it would act silly. Like it just did before when I tried to take it out. So basically, that's, those are your fingers. Right? And then these. Now this. You really have to. I'm going to show you how to do it. Because getting this point. The point. On this, you see the little point right here? If you don't put it in the mold good, you're not going to get that point. So, what you're going to do, and this definitely got to go in the freezer for about 10-15 minutes until it gets nice and cold or overnight, whatever, however you want. And you must leave it in there to get hard. Because you want this point. So this is what I do. I take the clay. And I make a point like this. And then I take it. This point and I push it all the way down. Into the middle of the mold. Just push it down like. Bro. You're going to push it down like that. Into. <laughs> keep getting stuck to my finger. Because I got clay under my fingernail. Alright, let's try another finger. So you're just going to push it. You're going to make sure you push it. You got to push it real good into the mold. You got to push it really, really well. No matter what clay you're using. Model Magic. Foam clay. Whatever clay you use. You got to make sure you get it into the point. So then you're going to make this like this again. You're going to do the next one, and you're going to make sure you get it into this center part right here. Push that in. Push that in. Ugh. All right, let me move this out the way, put it over here. You're going to make sure you push it, the point, into that bottom. And then you're going to keep pushing. Make sure you push it, push it, push it till you fill it up. And that's how you're going to make them, okay? Then you're going to put this in the freezer. And you're going to let it set, get hard, and all that good stuff, right? So then, once you do that, you're going to have all your pieces ready to go. See these? All I did was got to get a dotting tool and put eyes on these. 
I got a couple of gummy worms. I was going to make these gummy worms sour and put like, if you want to make them sour, you could just put some sand on them. I got those and I got my, got me some, some pretzels. So when the pretzels come out of the freezer, you're going to take a little piece of green clay, roll it in your hand and just stick it on there so that it looks like a pumpkin pretzel. Okay. And I got me some fingers already done. And I got a couple of pieces of candy here. So I'm just going to show you how to put it all together. Because everything else you guys already have seen me do on another video. I'm going to get some of these M&M's Miss, Miss Annie sent me from Annie's Treasure. Let's get some orange or black. And the green, oh, let's see, maybe I'll put more than one, I mean three, <laughs> I don't even know what I said, that. but this is my case where I have all my, uh, like, oh, I need some spiders, I got eyeballs in here, Miss Annie from Annie's Treasure sent me some eyeballs, she sent me these cute little sticks, she sent me some candy corn, these cute little lollipops, these little kisses. So I have a link to her shop underneath this video. Click on see more and you'll click see. Annie has so many cute things in her shop and you can get 15% off on sprinkles, cabochons, and straws. So if you want to get something from her shop. You can use the discount code. Okay. So I need a couple more spiders. Let's just take out. I don't know how many spiders we got there. So now. You can find these little boards at Hobby Lobby. This one was $7.99. So um, I got this in friend mail. Um, But right now. At Christmas section is they have them again i forgot what color. i think they have a lighter uh lighter brown color but anyway they 50 percent off so this would be four dollars and then this one was made on this and i got this from hobby lobby as well but it was from the spring collection and it came it's like these are coasters and um it was in the spring collection and i got it for 90 percent off and I couldn't pass that up, so I got I only got one pack. It came with four in a pack. So this is what I'm gonna use to make the charcuterie board because I like it small like that. It's so cute. I'm probably just gonna put it the same layout. So what I did was I uh just laid it out how I thought I wanted it to be, right? And then I, would, I got a, a, my glue gun. Let me see. After I had laid it out the way I wanted it. I'm just going to do it the same just because I don't <laughs> feel like giving myself a headache right now. But you could do it however you want. So I just laid my pretzels out like that. Right, and then I took my fingers and I try to figure out how I'm gonna lay these fingers. So on the fingers, I painted the nail black and then I put some blood with slick paint. That's just slick paint on there. Okay, so then I try to figure out how I'm gonna put my fingers on here. Let's see. Uh See, we move that over a little bit. So that's all I did was just basically try to fit. Hmm. 
fit my fingers in there somehow. And then after I had it the way I wanted it, I went in there with my glue gun. And I don't know why it's not. Okay, maybe that's why. I need to bring this up a little bit. Okay. So I stuck my fingers in there. Like that. And you, you know, you rearrange it, you adjust it. And that's how I did it. Once you glue it down, it won't move around and stuff. So we're gonna put some candy over here. Put an M and M. They keep moving around. Maybe I should just glue it down. It's just that I hate that dumb glue stick, glue gun. I mean, so let's 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 glue it down. <laughs> and get this darn glue. Gun that I hate so much. I have another glue gun. I just didn't want to get it out. So that's what happens when I get stuck with this crazy thing. Alright. So let's glue these down first. A little kisses. You're going to glue those down first. Right? Now, you don't have to make it how I'm making it. You can make it however you want. This is what I did. All right. There we go. A little cute marshmallow. Not marshmallow. Kiss ghost. And then... We gonna put our worms. <sighs> See, yeah, we gonna put our worms. Right, right, right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link to the molds if they still around and um a link to Annie's shop in case you want to get the uh pretzel mold or the finger mold. All right now let's see how we're gonna fit these things. Let me see something. For some reason, this finger looks. See, this finger is longer. That's probably why it's giving me all this trouble trying to fit on the board. Are you kidding me, bro? This glue is just. What is up with this glue? Ugh. You know what? I need to get rid of this glue. So I'm going to try to put it out towards the edge so that the other is all on my deck on. Red suits. This glue is terrible. This is the... <coughs> Sorry, I don't know if it's the glue or if it's my glue gun. Because I used the glue in the other glue gun and I didn't even really have that much trouble with it. But this is gross. Hold on, let me wipe this. Because I really can't. Look. Look at this. Oh, God. What? This is terrible. It's just freaking terrible. I don't know if I'm doing a good thing here. Or what? <sighs> Bro. Okay. Sorry, guys. But... It's called, the name of the glue is called Art Mines. So don't buy that glue. <laughs> like seriously, I don't know if it's the glue or what, but I'm gonna stick this finger in there. Next. Hold it down. Make sure it don't come up. 
See, this finger is kind of, or maybe I have the wrong finger. Okay, this is the finger that goes there. Got it! This is the one that he kept going up. All right. Okay. And then this is the last thing. I'm not putting all five fingers because monsters shouldn't have five fingers. They should have four. That's what makes them a monster and creepy. Okay, so we can put that to the side. Now, we are going to put our pretzels down. After this glue stick finishes up in here, I am not putting another one of that brand in here because it's just, I can't take it. So, it's Mikey brand. Art my, look at it, it's just like leaking, like, like it's like melting too fast. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. If it's a low temp, blue, whatever, I don't know. It's just weird. So we're going to do the next pumpkin pretzel. Ouch. Burnt myself. That's what I get for talking about the glue. And then that's the last one. It's going to go right there. But then we're going to put the other candy around. So this is pretty easy. The only thing is that I use molds. And uh, I didn't make anything by hand. So there you go. So now we're going to put the candies down. We'll put a piece of candy over there. And just going to kind of copy off of what I have going on here. Put an M&M there. There's so many blue strings going on here, y'all. This is, this is disgusting. Boom, put that one there. Put uh not purple because this is already purple. Let's put a black one right there. Let's get some of these glue webs up. Put an M and M right there. And I'm going to put a piece of candy right here. Look at this. It's just like leaking. I don't know if you can see my glue gun, but it's just like, I don't understand what's going on. Put that there. And I'm going to put a piece here. And then we're going to put spiders. Or if I, even I could put another, should I put another M&M &M right there? Why not? I already have it out. Might as well use it. Okay. How are we going to put some spiders around? Let's see. Put a spider there. Spider everywhere. Let 
hopefully don't want to put another one of these glue sticks in here, but I need it right now. We'll put a spider right there. And I think that's it. That's anything. Like that. This thing got tons of glue webs. Because it's this whack, whack glue I got going on here. But. Can I put this piece anywhere? Mm, yeah. Let's just leave it alone. So guys, here you go. Your mini charcuterie board. Cute for tear trays. Um, just to display it on your little table. It's just cute. I love it. And you can make them too. They fit right in the palm of your hand, so they're very tiny. You can sell these in your Etsy shop. Possibilities are endless. So, guys, that's it for now. So, I hope you really like this cute little charcuterie board that I did. And I uh, hope if you make one, uh, tag me in it. I want to see what you did. All right. So, until the next video, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting. God bless you guys. Bye.